Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. Here is the final video for my Christmas planner setup series that I've done here on my channel. I thought I would go ahead and do a complete flip through of the planner because I did make some changes and I did um, decorate some different elements in here that I did not show on those videos. So I do want to go ahead and show you what the complete um, planner is at this time. So if you are interested, I have done a complete video on all of the pieces that are in the front, this little pom-pom thing, the charms here, the little charms at the bottom. I did do a complete video on that. So I'll go ahead and leave that link right here. So you can click on that little eye right there and it will bring you to that video if you're interested. And then that in that same video, I did go over all of the pieces to this. So I did a complete walkthrough of how I put this together. So if you're interested, you could check that out as well. And just a FYI, I moved this little um, pin right here. This was actually over here in that video that I'm talking about. But as, as you could tell, it was scratching up this little cover here. The gold foil was getting scratched by the little pin, um, the little stick that was sticking out. So I just moved it around. So what I plan on doing with this video is doing fairly quickly going through every, all the pieces um, because like I said, I did a, I've done a couple of videos already. I did do a basic layout, a basic setup video that deep dives into every all of the dividers, what's in the dividers and how I'm using this planner. So if you're interested in that piece, you can absolutely check that video out. And again, I will have it linked here at the top. Um, so then uh, the other video that I did was I did do some videos on how I actually decorated some of the different elements in the planner, but I did not go through all of the pieces. Um, so that's why I wanted to do this video so that you could see the final results. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is the first page when you open up the planner. I love seeing this. This is like one of my favorite sayings. Um, for Christmas because I definitely believe that and I loved this this is so cute to me it just I love it and then I've got my little Santa there and my calendar and then this is my faith planner so the faith part of my planner where I'm going to be documenting some verses and my devotionals um, this is the piece in here. I actually went ahead and put some little notes that I have. So I just have, and then this is my November spread and I am doing a Bible verse writing challenge. So I decided to just write down the different Bible verses for both November and December. And then I just, of course, decorated it a little bit. And then on um, this particular advent, I'm going to be doing 25 Christmas joys. So each day I'm going to pick something out of that day that really brought me joy and just write a little bit of something about that. Um, so that's what that's for. And I did start the process for my scripture writing. Um, I put this little pin up here to help me signify where to go for my daily devotional. So this part is my daily devotional. And I did, what I did here was I actually clipped it with a binder clip and I found this tassel in my stash. I'm not even, I have no idea even where I got this tassel from, but I just had it. So I just put it inside the binder clip and attached it. And um, I did want to binder clip this up because this particular part of the planner is pretty personal because it's like journaling my daily devotional. So um, I did want people to, if people wanted to flip through the planner, I definitely want to give them that option. But um, I thought if I clipped this together, it would be something they would just flip through and not necessarily like, oh, what's in here? And like, look at all the goodies. Um, this is the next section. It is my list section. And I did not do a video on this, but Basically, I just adhered this on kind of like as almost like a tuck spot. And I do have these three little cards that I just pulled. They are washi taped together. That is my trick. <laughs> if you want something to stay in your planner, I do have another little piece of washi right here that's sticking 
the other way so when I stick it in here um, I can push down and it kind of just makes it stay in there uh, the pocket pretty much makes it stay in there but um, washi taping them together <laughs> allows it to make sure that it doesn't move around okay so I just added some stars to this page to kind of go along with the stars on the little cutout here and then I just stuck a sticker up here at the top and then for my wish list, I went ahead and paper clipped it because I wanted a quick reference to <laughs> where I could go if I wanted to write down something in my wish list. A little tip that I'm going to give to you guys is for all the paper clips that I have in this planner, I have actually taped them down. Um, it's something that I pretty much always do. Now granted, if I wanted to use this piece of paper before, um, I do have to be pretty careful in making sure that when I pull up the tape, I don't like rip the paper. So the tape that I use is this crystal clear tape from the Dollar Tree, and it is absolutely crystal clear. When you tape it on, you cannot see it at all. So um, just a little tip. All right, and so that's the gift section. I actually am going to need a piece of paper before I flip this because there's already gifts on this list. Um, so then all I did for here is I just put this Joy of the World sticker. And then my next section is my tradition. So I just added this little gold foiled December 25th. Then I put a pom-pom, little pom-pom thing up here. And I did put gemstones on all the little red dots. So these are little gemstones from the Dollar, Dollar Tree. And then on this side, it just says believe, and this is a sticker that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I, I did stick it on there, and then I outlined it in black with my pen to kind of make it pop off the page a little bit. And then I really like how this turned out. And then the back, I put moments worth remembering because these are all of my traditions. So I thought that was an appropriate little saying. And then for this one, this is the back cover of this. So all of my like dividers kind of have like a full page layout spread. But say for like this one, it's the full layout, right? It's got like, and then even this one is the full layout. So I really like how this one turned out. Um, Cause I like the ho 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 with the little Santa Claus. I thought that was cute. And then as you turn the page, this is what this inside looks like. I did do a process video on this. I hope this looks like a little shelf with a coffee mug sitting on it. That was the kind of the whole point of, <laughs> of this little um, thing. So I'm hoping that's what it looks like. I think that's what it looks like. And then there's this side. I really loved this little saying. And then on the, this is my November layout. Pretty simple for me. This is a little flip out. I did want to have a little spot to journal in but I didn't want to add additional bulk to the middle um, so I just put it on the side over here so that it's not adding additional bulk to the middle of the page just put some leaves on here I just kept it pretty simple and then here's December again this is pretty simple for me if you know my happy planner Sorry, I have to adjust the camera a little bit because I feel like it's falling. Um, if you know my Happy Planner layouts, then you will know that this is very simple for me. <laughs> but this is basically how I use like my daily planners. These are kind of the spreads I have. Um, this is a countdown to Christmas. I just put this in here. I did make it a pocket because I do plan on um, trying to find little stickers that I can use to count down the Christmas. So not sure what those stickers are going to look like yet or which ones I'm going to be using but I just thought I'd ha I have a pocket and I'll put those stickers in there so I can just grab them and stick them on there as the days go by. I have this 25 days of Advent. It's the same one that I have in my faith section but I really have no clue if I'm even going to use this because I can't think of anything to do besides the 25 days of joy. Um, but I kept it in here just in case I get motivated to use it for something. Okay, and then this is my first week's layout. I did kind of a green and black spread because I wanted it to still look Christmassy, but I didn't want to go like full blown Christmas. So I think green is kind of a, still a fall color, even though, I don't know. 
I don't know. I just did like a green and black theme with a couple gold accents. And then... Um, and then on the last page, I included this little paper clip that I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And um, it did have a little spot where you can insert something. So I just put a little insert that said, Be Merry. And again, I taped it to the back. Didn't do anything here. I'll probably put some kind of sticker or something on this one. But this is my creative space, my creative tab. I really love how this one turned out because the buffalo plaid is really cute to me. And the snow, I love the snowman. And then I just added a couple of the Dollar Tree snowman stickers on there like that. Added just a sticker there. And then for my meal one, um, this is the meal one. I thought this was cute holiday cheer because it's like meals and you're gonna be cheering and not that I drink, but I did do the process video for this one. And then I just included this as well. And then on the back here, the, my basic setup video, I did have a different um, notebook in here, but I switched it out for this white paper because it's it was a little bit thicker, that the notebook was too thick. Um, so I just switched it out for this one. All right, guys, that's my planner setup for 2017. I hope that you liked it. Um, if you have stayed to the end of the video and you still are watching, I would absolutely love it if you guys tell me why you believe it's the most wonderful time of the year, if that's something you believe. Why do you believe that? Um, what is that one thing that really makes it the most wonderful time of the year for you? Um, for me, it's definitely time with my family and my friends and just being able to enjoy and celebrate the birth of Christ. So if you guys want to leave me a comment down below, I would love to hear all of the things that you think are wonderful about this season. And I will see you in the next video. If you're interested, check out all the other videos that I have been doing. I'm really excited to share these videos with you. And go ahead and hit that little share button and share it with one of your friends today. All right. Bye, y'all.